Today we are going to install Drupal Commerce. So we've already installed Drupal. Let's go to the user login screen. Okay, so with that username and password that you created earlier, go ahead and type that in here. Okay, now we're inside of our Drupal site. We're going to choose, um, so this is our admin panel. Um, we're going to choose extend because we are going to install some modules today. We're going to choose add new module. And then from there, I'm going to show you a couple of different uh, modules. I have the web pages open. The first one is Entity Reference Revisions. That's at the Drupal site. We're going to go down to where it reads 8 or Drupal 9, 10 version. And let's go ahead and right click and choose Copy Link with the um, with the tar GZ. Add from URL. We're going to paste that there and continue. And it just installed the module. Now we're going to enable the module. Notice it says it was installed successfully. Okay, so entity reference revisions. We're going to type that here in the filter field. There it is. Check that and choose install. Okay, next one. Let's get rid of this. And the next one is inline entity form. So again, I, I got here to this page from by typing it into Google. I just typed in Drupal entity in inline entity form. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to download. Just um, right click and choose copy link and paste it in the field here. Good. Enable newly added modules. So that's inline entity. There it is. Click that and choose install. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this tab. Next one, token. Right-click, copy link, go to add new module, enable, token, there it is install okay let's go ahead and get rid of that tab Ludwig Ludwig is a great module okay copy the link Enable newly added modules. Ludwig. There it is. State machine. That's the next module to install. Right click, add new module, and 
enable state, state machine. There it is. Check the checkbox. Okay, we're almost done. Entity API. Let's go ahead and install that. So we're going to the file here, copy link, paste the link. Install that. All right, going to profile, the profile module. Add new module, paste that, let's look for profile here, profile, there it is. All right, so a couple more things to do here. We're going to the Commerce Core, Drupal Commerce Core. Paste that. Enable. Okay. Let's scroll down to Commerce Core. Now notice that it's um, grayed out and that's because we're missing the address module. And so I'm going to show you how to install the address module. We're going to actually um, go to Commerce Guys Addressing. So you'll find that by searching in Google. We're going to download the zip file. I'm going to go to the code button here and download the zip file. Now we're inside of our, um, our file manager and we're going to go to the vendor folder. And inside the vendor folder, we're going to create a new folder. So to do that, we're inside the vendor folder. We're going to go to uh, folder up here. And we're going to title this folder Commerce Guys, all one word. Create new folder. Okay, there it is. So let's go ahead and go into that folder, double click. And notice the directory is empty. We're gonna upload our newly downloaded address. Um, this is our addressing library. Okay, and right click, choose extract. And let's refresh the screen. And let's right click Addressing Master and we're going to um, rename that. We're going to name it just Addressing.
Okay, we're going to go to addressing, or address, Drupal address. This is the address module. We're going to do that first. Copy the link. Now we're going to go back to our Drupal site. Extend, add new module. And then we're going to paste our address module. Enable. Actually, before we enable, we're going to go to reports. So locate the report section and go to packages. We can't enable address just yet because we need to make sure that the addressing library is installed correctly. So when you go to packages, you um, notice here after you've installed the addressing library, it should uh, say that you've installed it successfully, un unpacked it successfully. So we're going back up to extend. So now we're going to locate address, the module we've just installed. And now um, we can install that here. Okay. So now if you go back to Commerce Core, we're going to scroll down here, you're going to notice that we can start installing the Commerce Core because address was installed successfully. So go ahead and check these check boxes here. All right. And now install. So we have just installed, successfully installed Commerce Core. And if you notice um, in your admin panel, whether it be off to the left hand side of your screen or up at the top, sometimes it's on the left hand side, sometimes it's at the top. Um, we're going to see it says commerce and that is our first step to creating our e-commerce website.